BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. when you have too long of a mustache. Right, Rabbit? Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to worship the Lord in Psalm 33, verse 1, 2, 3. Rabbit's got that long Asian mustache. It says in Psalm 33, verses 1, 2, 3, Rejoice in Jehovah, you righteous. Praise is well suited to the upright. Give thanks to Jehovah with the lyre. Sing praise to Him with the ten-string harp. Sing praise to Him with the ten-string harp. Make to Him a new song. Make music at your best. Among shouts of joy. With shouts of joy. Among shouts, shouts of joy. Everybody say shalom. Say shalom to somebody new. All right, let's worship. Who wants to worship the Lord? Everybody want to worship the Lord? Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to start out in German. Oh. Okay, I guess we'll have to do Spanish instead. <laughs> Viene hoy en su voz, 
has a meaning and every time they get sounded do you know what you're supposed to do are you ready and that's what we're talking about are you prepared the scriptures teach us you have examples all around you are you ready again. Yeshua is the light that drives out the darkness. The darkness must flee from the presence of Hashem. His light now shines, the darkness must flee, the darkness must flee from the living world. His light now shines, the darkness must flee, Yeshua is the light of the world. One more. He came to the world, confounding the darkness. His word is a light, a lamp for our feet. Once again, he came to the world, confounding the darkness. His word is a light, a lamp for our feet. His light now shines, the darkness must flee, the darkness must flee from the living word. His light now shines, the darkness must flee, Yeshua is the light of the world. Again, Yeshua is the light that drives out the dark. Yeshua is the light that drives out the dark. The darkness must flee from the presence of Hashem. His light now shines. The darkness must flee. The darkness must flee from the living world. His 
light now shine, the darkness must flee. Yeshua is the light of the world. One more. He came to the world, and found things of darkness. His word is alive, a lamp for our feet. He came Celebrate the light. Amen. Celebrate the light. Amen. Oh, yeah. All right, now, for all those that are new, we're going to turn and we're going to face toward Jerusalem, which is in the back of our sanctuary. <laughs> that is southeast from where we are in New York. Let's do our Shema. <laughs> Shema. Israel, Yehovah, Eloheinu, Yehovah, Echad, Ba. Son, our Messiah, Yeshua. We come before your throne in intercession for the Yiladim of Yisrael, B'nai Yisrael. And not just the Jews, but the Arabs and everybody else, the Jew and the Gentile, the Jew and the Greek, everybody that's there, that they would worship you in spirit and in truth. As you're calling your people home from around the globe, anti-Semitism is at its highest level ever. We know that you are the God of Yisrael that you never slumber nor sleep. But let your people come home because they want to come home, not because they have to come home. Let them come home to worship you. Let their hands be raised up high. Let the peace of you be upon them. And let them know Messiah Yeshua. In your name, Yeshua, and everybody said, Amen. When the trumpet gets sounded, the Lord said, when you go into a battle, sound the trumpet, and Jehovah will remember you, and he will come and fight against your enemies. The people in this room know 
the people out there, out in the shopping center, out there in that town, they're not really our enemy, are they? We only have really one enemy. And we know who he is. And that's why that light that we sang about was so vitally important. Because you don't go into battle without him, without the light. Right now, your Shalayim is lacking the light. Their lights are dim. Their lamps are going out. They don't even have wicks. Because they don't have Yeshua yet. But that's the reason you're here. You're supposed to bring them into the light. You. So let's lift up a prayer that what we do is working. Pray for peace of Jerusalem, the city of our God. Their salvation was poured out for you. The atoning of the Lord. Once your streets were filled with joy, branches raised up high. Shout it, blessed be the Holy One, Yeshua. Adonai. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. Peace be to you. When Messiah comes to take us home, may his grace be found in you. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. Peace be to you. When Messiah comes to take us home, may his praise be found in you. Por favor, se 
everybody. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. I say unto wonder what it'll be like the day he comes. Well, will it be the same as you always thought, or will it be different than you ever imagined? You have time now to prepare. You have time now to get it right. Some people, they've gone before us, they didn't get a chance to get it right, but you, you're still here. Are you going to take that opportunity and run with it? Or are you going to sit around and do nothing? What will you do?
What will we do in the day of Messiah? What will we do in the day that he comes? the day of Messiah, what will we do in the day that he comes? What will we do in the day of Mashiach when he comes to conquer the land? When the shofar will sound to believe, the captives at last will be free to replenish the earth, bring life and rebirth, when the Lion of Judah will
Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. 
Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture. Truly, the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close this Shabbat together with a reading of the new week's parashah. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, Many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, YESHUA. Shalom.